three. Hello, everyone. It's Thursday, September 30th. We are just about to close out the month of September and enter the month of October. It's hard to believe that we are already here. This, this month seems like it just flew by. But on September 30th, back in 1902, rayon was patented. Rayon was the first made man-made manufactured fiber. It was developed in France in the 1890s, and it was originally called artificial silk. Although it was patented on in this day in 1902, it wasn't actually until 1924 that the term rayon was officially adopted by the textile industry. Unlike most man-made fibers, rayon is not completely synthetic, which is it's not made of chemical compounds like something like nylon. Instead, it's made from wood pulp, a natural material. So for that reason, rayon's properties come closer to those of other natural fibers like cotton or linen and then something of synthetic fiber like nylon or polyester. At first, rayon was manufactured to be for decorative uses, but as its properties and relatively inexpensive costs became more desirable, clothes manufacturers began to blend rayon with other fabrics such as cotton and wool. Today, rayon's many desirable properties make it a popular choice among some designers, and it even appears in more high-end apparel than it did before. But as good as this fiber has become, it still pales in comparisons to natural fibers such as silk and wool, linen and cotton. Those remain the most reliable and most used fibers in high-end clothing because natural fibers last longer and the fabrics breathe and are more comfortable to wear than those that are man-made. When it comes to man-made versus God-made, nothing truly beats God's natural creation. And no one on this earth can add an ounce of creativity or wisdom to what God already possesses. God is the source of all wisdom. He makes the smartest, most intelligent humans seem foolish when compared to him. Job 22.2 says, Can a person be of any use to God? Can even a wise person be of use to him? This isn't necessarily meant to throw us in the hole and say we're worthless and all that wonderful thing, but it's to say, no matter how small, smart we are, we, we can't any, add anything to God's creativity, to his knowledge, to what, what he is. He has given us that wisdom and that knowledge. God does not rely on us to help him run the world. We are nothing compared to his greatness. While it is good for us to use the creativity and the intelligence that we have that God has given us to create and invent and design new things, we need to remember the source of all this wisdom, the source of the creativity and intelligence, is God, our very creator. He is the one that made us, set everything in motion, and everything else really pales next to him. I hope that as you go through the rest of your day, maybe you see some things that God has made and, or look at your own life that God has made and see his fingerprints and see how great and how amazing his creativity really is. May God bless you and I hope you join us back here again tomorrow. Take care.